all the medical schools will have the same end point in that they want to produce uh, safe, uh, well-rounded doctors who have all the knowledge, skills, values and attributes that they need to move into the medical profession. But the journey that students will go through during each uh, medical school's training will be different. So that might be something like the physical environment. So for example, if you compare a medical school that might have lots of remote and rural placements to a medical school that's more urban or city-based, that's a very obvious physical environment. Some of them will be very intensively academically focused. Others might be focused on, on more broader societal issues or global issues. Nearly all medical schools now involve clinical contact from very early on in the course. But that varies in its, uh, in, in its content and in what sorts of things that you do. There are lots of things that make medical schools different. So whereabouts in the country you are, the kind of students that come to those schools obviously have a huge impact. The communities that those uh, medical schools serve, all of those have a difference. The type of course that students are following, that makes a big difference. And the staff, they all make a big difference. So uh, all sorts of things change the environment of the school that you're at. Most medical schools will invite you to come and see them before uh, you, you start there. So open days, interviews, that kind of thing. Those should give you a feel for the atmosphere of the place. And I think it's really important to, to choose a school that you feel like you uh, will fit into, where you feel welcomed. But different people will, will fit into different environments. So some will like big places, little places, remote, close to big cities. I think it's really important to pick the school based on how it feels when you get there rather than just basing it on some numbers or some um, ranking in a, a scale somewhere. The students will want to think about what's the best for them in terms of what educational delivery will suit their learning style best. So that goes back to the curriculum. Then it'll be about the geographical components. And then there'll be factors around academic things like uh, intercalation. And then there'll be personal factors, you know, for example, distance from home, the level of student support, the type of student support, the accommodation choices. So there are probably as many different types of curriculum as there are medical schools, but broadly there are quite traditional setups where um, there's lots of very directed teaching, which then tends to evolve into a more clinical um, syllabus later on and then there are courses where you're doing quite student-directed learning right from the beginning and then again you will pr proceed into a more clinical focus later on. So for example some schools will use lots of case-based learning or some schools might use problem-based learning. Lots of medical schools will now have what they call an integrated curriculum which means that things aren't really taught in siloed areas or, s or individual areas, they're knitted together. So students are learning about the relevant anatomy, biochemistry, skills, etc. at the same time. There are some medical schools that have quite a different approach. So they have a, an approach called problem-based learning, which basically tackles in blocks the, the problems that patients might present with and then the underpinning science that goes with that and the therapeutics and diagnostics that goes with it. But I think the thing about all UK medical schools is that they are regulated very closely by the General Medical Council. All of them reach a similar standard and medical students in all UK medical schools perform really well right across the, the National Health Service. So no matter what medical school you do end up in, you should know that you're getting a good education that's going to prepare you for your future. Given that it is hard for people to get into medical school in, uh, these days, uh, then it's important for you just to keep your options open and not be too tied to a particular medical school or region that you think you must go to.